Now AMH or anti-mullerian hormone is actually really really interesting. What it does is it gives us an idea of our ovarian reserve. Now since I have a family history of premature ovarian failure or early onset menopause, it's really important to me to get an idea of what my ovarian reserve looks like, especially with PCOS and having so many little follicles hanging out in my ovaries. So AMH is a substance produced by granulosa cells in ovarian follicles. It's first made in primary follicles that are advancing from the primordial phase. Now primordial means like deep sleep. That's your ovarian reserve. So this AMH only shows up in the follicles that have just advanced from that. So the idea is the more cells you have that are advancing, the more cells you have left behind. Researchers have discovered a correlation between the number of growing follicles you have to the number of primordial follicles you have. So basically, the higher your AMH level, the more follicles you have available to you. So women with PCOS tend to have really high AMH values. So the values differ by lab, but on average, a normal AMH level is one nanogram per milliliter and above. A high level, often addictive PCOS, is anything over three nanograms per milliliter. Anything below one nanogram per milliliter is considered low. And if you're below 0.3 nanograms per milliliter, your ovarian reserve is considered very low. Your AMH level is consistent throughout your cycle, so you can have this test done any day of the month. Now, AMH level is not an indicator of egg quality, just of number. But with fertility treatments, especially IVF, the more follicles you can get to grow, the higher your chances of getting a really high quality egg. Women with high AMH levels tend to respond better to ovarian stimulation, like injectable and IVF cycles. So this is a good thing for women with PCOS, since we tend to have high AMH levels. See, it's not all bad. If you have any questions about AMH, please leave them below. I'll include some helpful links in the comment section below. This has been Carla of the Bubble Lash. Good luck with all your fertility testing.